Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record from one track to another in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a guitar, and I've put some effects on this guitar. It sounds like this without them. But with the effects, it sounds like this. Now let's say I want to re-record this guitar with the effects already on there, or print the effects. We could do this in a few different ways. We could render it, just right click the track, and go down here to render, and choose how we want to render it. Maybe stereo, which records a separate track with the effect printed on it. We could also freeze the track right down over here, which is going to freeze the effects on the track while turning them off, like this. We could also re record the guitar and the effects back to the same track by turning off the input, turning on a monitoring feature, monitor track media when recording, switch the track recording mode to output and stereo, going to record, re record another take with the effects printed together. Which creates a separate take for this purpose, which we can switch back and forth to either version. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this with a separate track. So we can record from this track to another. So let's undo this and let's duplicate this track. Right click it, duplicate tracks. Then we can delete the audio on this track. Remove the effects, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. As we're not going to need them on this track, we can rename it Guitar 1 with effects. So we know the effects are on here. We should turn off the input right here. Go to the track recording modes and switch it to record output and choose which format we need. These effects are stereo, so we'll choose stereo. Then we need to send this track to this track. So we'll grab the routing and drag and drop it onto this track. Notice how the cursor changes to a patch cable, letting us know we're sending from one track to the other. And we can drop it, and that creates a send right here. So now we'll go back to this track and turn off the master parent send. So we won't hear the guitar from here just from here. So now we're ready to record this guitar to this track plus the effects. Go into record. And just like that, we've printed a guitar along with the effects to a separate track. Now we should turn off the send, either delete it or mute it. Otherwise, it's going to keep sending from this track to this track. And we don't need that anymore. And we could turn back on the master parent send for this track. So now we have two different versions to choose from. The dry one with the effects on the track or the printed one with the effects printed to audio. So we could hide this one by opening up the track manager and just hide it right here, as it's already muted, so it's not using any CPU processing. And we could also use this 
if you want to print effects and automation that's being used to create effects. Like in this project here, I have a different guitar that also has effects on the track. But I also created a volume envelope that's going to create a tremolo effect. And also a pan envelope that's going to create automatic panning. Again, we can print all of this to a separate track. Let's duplicate this track, delete the audio and the effects and the automation as well. Then we'll rename this track, turn off the master parent send, and send it from here to here. Turn off the input and change this to record the output, and again in stereo. Go into record, and we can record that part. Again, we can delete the send, turn back on the master parent send, so we can hear both or keep both in our project. And we could also use this for recording virtual instrument plugins. I have a MIDI track right here with a virtual piano plugin on it. And it sounds like this. Let's say we want to print this to audio to free up the CPU processing of that plugin. Once again, just duplicate this track, rename it, delete the MIDI and the plugin, turn off the input. Set the output to be stereo and send from here to here. We could turn off the master parent send by holding Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. And just click it, go into record, and we can record our piano. Now the piano is printed as audio, so I can free up the CPU of this track just by muting it and even hiding it. This is also useful if we want to print this piano while we're recording it. So let's go later in the song, put the MIDI track back into record with my keyboard down here, and now I can record the MIDI to this track while I'm recording the audio to this track. Well, if we don't want to record the MIDI, we could just record the audio just by going over here and disabling the record. Now it's just going to record the audio. So it's a great way of recording the audio without having to print the MIDI or even doing both at the same time. This is also helpful if we want to bounce or pre-mix multiple tracks to just one track. In this project here, I have multiple vocals on different tracks. But let's say I want to bounce these or pre-mix them to their own track. I don't need them separate. We could do this with the same technique. Just create a new track. I'll name it background vocals. Turn off the input. 
switch the mode to record output, stereo. Then we could send all these tracks. Hold down shift while we drag the routing to it. Turn off the master pair and send for all of them. Now they're all going to here. So we can record all these vocals to this track. Then we can delete the send or turn them off. Put the master parent send back on for these and just mute them. Maybe hide them and just have one track for all of it. But anyway, that's how you record the output of tracks to other tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!